Hi guys, back with me again Dennis and I managed to make multiple exposure finder for my Sonic Mini 4K. Let us get a closer look. And you could see here this is the 1.5 second, this is 2 seconds, 2 and a half seconds, 3, 3.5, 4, and 4.5 seconds isn't it beautiful no more agonizing work for uh, finding the correct exposure for your sonic mini 4k So uh, most of the most of people that use tracing printer knows there is a there is a function in any cubic. Uh, it's called RERF file where you could print multiple objects on a different exposure to help dial in your uh, resin exposure. But on Frozen, uh, there is no such function. So you have to print one of these manually on a different exposure settings so yeah this will take a whole day and this just take like an hour to print so let's check the difference for this multiple exposure finder to the Anycubic RERF so this is the RERF from Anycubic we will see the movement, the, the, the arm move down and then exposure and it turn off in sequence. Again, arm move up and then move down. And then exposure. So let us compare it to the the multiple exposure that I made for Sonic Mini 4K and this is the multiple exposure that I make for Sonic Mini 4K and this is the 1.5 second and then the arm move up it move down again to the 2 second And then to the two and a half seconds. I know uh, the problem is why the arm have to move up and down. Uh, but it is returning to the same uh, Z height on the layer that we are exposing. Well, it adds more time on the print time compared to the REFRF from Anycubic but at least so far uh, this is the best that I can do using the UV tools and I checked the UV tools uh, developer Facebook page and they they said it has something to do with the G2 main board that Frozen is using uh, it causes the the arm cannot be set to zero when changing exposure on the same layer So you guys have seen the difference for any cubic RERF and this multiple exposure finder and like I mentioned before I made this uh, exposure finder using a software called UV tools it is a very awesome software. You could repair your files. You could check for any overhangs that you forgot to support and many other cool function. And honestly, I barely scratched the surface. I put a link in the descrip description if you want to download this software and maybe donate to the developer because they made such an awesome software. Uh, so. I also put a link in the description if you want to download this exposure finder. Uh, I made I made two files. One is on 30 micron Z height, 
and another is on 50 micron Z height uh, with 0 0.5 second exposure I, I mean 0 0.5 increment for the exposure okay guys so that is all for this video about multiple exposure finder thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share the video thank you so much